Welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm doing in League 8 against the Artifact Fugit. I just accidentally claimed a tile. What a shame. I had the lead until a while ago. I might have got the lead back if I didn't claim that tile. I might still get the lead back. So this is the team I'm using. I mutated some of my level 8 team's strengths. And normally I would have them all mutated with life for most situations. But I mutated one with stamina to increase the stamina by 7%, the max stamina cap. And that's so that anti-gravity boots is more likely to work if I've got stamina drained, which hasn't happened if I've got less than 50% stamina. It's not happened, but if it ever happens, I'll have a higher stamina cap and the moves won't take that much stamina off. So, using laser beam sword because I don't have shrimp waiter sword, which is the better strength boosted one. Regen's mask because I keep getting attacked by the fugitive in this league. And once you get damaged here, it increases your strength for the next turn. And that's got a few uses, so the more you get attacked, the more strength you get. These are the skills I'm using for Zenfira. It's not uh, the best because sometimes it uses Chiyu's trickery, which is elemental weakness skill. And I've tried changing it around, but if I change that, move that one, some of the others don't work as well, or they don't get used. Plus all the better other ones are all extra turn skills. Can't use the guard down one because it's an artifact. And a triple damage to itself isn't helpful. And then there's some other uh, extra turn skills. Better ones. And the skills I've got on just now are these. And it tends to only really use update release. That's the only time I've actually seen it use any skills. Because it's got so zero cooldown, zero stamina, I think. Or zero cooldowns at least. And these are the skills I've used for this level of the bounty hunt. I'm going to change this. Remove positive effects. Very heavy dark damage. I was using that for the earlier weeks. I've forgotten to change it until now. And massive fire damage is heavier, I think, than very heavy dark damage. Because this isn't weak to dark, at least. Because it's not air. So, four more attacks that I've got after accidentally using that stamina. And I'll see if I can get the lead back. Check out my previous videos for who I'm going to buy in the shop. Some recommendations in there. Well, let's get down to attacks. I wonder if I'll make it to the next milestone. I don't mean with one attack, but... All the numbers flying up next to Kinect whenever he gets a turn in. All those power boosts and strength boosts and all that. Handy. And then he got attacked on the second turn, so he didn't get to use his strength boost from the Regent's Mask. It was only 38 million, I thought it was higher than And that one was less, so I didn't get my stone for this one. You only really hit high damage if you get Metal Hater from Zenfira. Because you always get the Artifact Hater, and you always get the Anticipation Hater from the Necro's trait. Survived that with 410 health, I think. Or 41 health, it looked like. But I think it was 410. 27 million there. Not very many. I'm not sure how many million this was, but it's, it's the final breakout. The more cells you can get of the star bounty hunt monster, the better, since there's no rank up survival dungeon. And you can't rank this abyssal monster with rank up cells from the dungeon. But if the more you get of Lord Onion from here, the more you're going to have access to the trample effect at higher ranks. Final attack, let's see how any I do here. That was like 
19 million or something. 21 million or something. Must have been a bad battle. But the bar didn't go down very, very far. So yeah, I get stunned on the first, first turn. Twenty-five million. So not good enough to take the lead. A few bad battles in that stack of four. Uh, I would recharge stamina, but but the battles take a long time to load, so it would be too long a video. I'm gonna wait for some more. I've got some higher hitting videos where I. I'm gonna edit them down in the shorts, upwards of a hundred million, but nothing, nothing really past small hundred millions. Nearly accidentally claimed another tile there. I'm gonna try once more to beat Firanda. All my legends that I'm hatching for the New Year's resolution challenge are ready to hatch. Check out my video on that where I show how to get easier points, some tips at least. 25 minutes, that's another vapor. So not too many more runes to craft for this challenge. And I collected all the food that you need to, I think. Because I noticed that notification of completing one of the challenges. Still only open 25 chests. Nearly halfway to the runes, 47. And... I'll have 4 out of 15 once I hatch those legends. Not done many PvPs, but those are coming. Got a tier 7 opening video still to make, but it's sitting there and I'm in the middle of opening other eggs in the meanwhile. So just another 570 points to get these 100 gems. Drop a comment, are you going to get the 100 gems? What are you going to spend them on? So 28 million that time. Getting close to the end of the round. Hopefully no one steals the kill. As long as I recharge now and kill it, I'll still profit gems by 5 or break even. So with this team I always hit around 20 million, so I'm gonna definitely kill it now. Above 20 million, as long as I hit it one time. I think I jinxed it.
Yeah, I jinxed it. Let's like, see if I can kill it. There we go. Could have been a kill steal moment for someone now. I did recharge a lot of stamina to get through that. But at the moment, if you break even on gems by killing it and charging stamina, and you're getting Lord Onion cells, but you can't rank in the dungeon at all at the moment, that's pretty good. And device 22, any attacks go towards that. And then he wins, you get the bounty bonus. A lot of sales. So went to another league just now. So there's no arrow showing where that's pointing. But right's the way to go, I go to. I guess directly in the middle of those three that were left and it paid off. Not in the lead. Just completed the 200 stamina points spent in Bounty Hunt and got the 170 seasonal summon tickets. We'll soon I'll be able to do some summonings in Pandoff's Conjuring Gadget to try and get Griffani at Iron Wings. I've got 2,840 tickets just now. Not bought any, but just gained them through the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck in League Game, you get to it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Hit subscribe for all of your just stuff. Check out my playlists. And check out my Tier 7 opening videos and my compilation. Got another tier 7 opening video coming soon. Hope to see you in another video down the line. Until then, take it easy.